Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're exploring two lesser known villages that are truly hidden gems here in the Cotswolds. They're Winston and Elkston, and both enjoy some of the highest elevations in the region. Both have magnificent churches and are surrounded by classic Cotswolds rolling countryside. We're gonna begin our tour in Winston so come with me and I'll show you around. Oh, and before I forget, if you're not already a subscriber, please do click the subscribe button and ring that bell. It would be amazing to reach 600 subscribers as soon as possible. And of course, to subscribe is totally free. So Winston, as I've said, is one of the highest villages in the Cotswolds. It's actually about 700 feet above sea level. So you do get windy conditions and today's one of those blustery days. It's actually a bank holiday. Um, it's the spring bank holiday in the UK and it's been wet one minute, sunny the next, quite windy. And obviously we're high up here. So apologies if there is some wind noise coming across. Um, not much I can do about it, but yeah, it's an exposed village, um, given its height, but yeah, it's still just as, um, quaint and charming as, 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 as the ones that nestle in the valley. Um, 34 people recorded as living in Winston in 1381, and by 1650, there were 21 families living here. I don't know how many families in the houses there are now, but it's very small you can walk around it in five minutes it's very peaceful and quiet and very much off the tourist trap but very charming indeed and well worth a visit Now we're just walking towards the church, which is just outside the village of Winston. But before we do, I'm just gonna show you this beautiful house. There's a public footpath, I don't know if you can just see the sign there, that allows me to go into their drive, almost through their garden and then out the other side. So I'm not trespassing. I'm always very careful about um, what I video, but this is actually a public footpath. So I couldn't resist just showing you around. I mean, look at this topiary here and the just magnificence of the setting. I don't know if you can see the size of that building there. It's like an old farmhouse, isn't it? And there's a building on the other side. It's probably two properties, but absolutely gorgeous and a typical Cotswold style. And the buildings have been here for hundreds of years and changed very little at that time. The music we're playing is called Heavenly, and I do feel a sense of this being a little bit of heaven, don't you? It's absolutely magnificent.
So as you can see, we've arrived at the church in Winston. It's known as the Church of St Bartholomew, and it was built in the 11th century. The nave was built in the 11th century, with the south porch being added in the 14th century, and the tower in the 15th century. In 1876, the church underwent Victorian restoration by Frederick S. Waller, and further restoration was carried out in the 1950s and the 1960s. The two-stage Saddleback West Tower has six bells, including one dating from 1320. Inside the church is a 15th century octagonal font. The church is surrounded by rolling countryside and the churchyard and its residents enjoys a stunning view and a stunning location.
So now we've travelled two or three miles to the village of Elkston. Elkston was listed as Elkestain in the Doomsday Book of 1086. The Church of St John the Evangelist was built in Elkston around 1160 and is a Grade 1 listed building and it contains an impressive Norman tympanum and Saxon stones. It's a peaceful little unspoilt place, well off the usual tourist trail. Today it's a bank holiday, as I've said, and I've not seen hardly anyone here. It's peaceful and it's surrounded by gorgeous countryside.
Now we're approaching one of the landmarks of Elkston, and that's Elkston Rectory. It's an 18th century building, a beautiful old rectory right next door to St John the Evangelist Church. The rectory has three main reception rooms, an orangery, six bedrooms, three bathrooms, a guest cottage, and is set in 4.6 acres of landscape gardens and grounds. At nearly a thousand feet above sea level, Elkstone Church is the highest in the Cotswolds. Described as a prayer in stone, it's famed for its Norman architecture, stone carvings and golden light. The original church, begun in 1160, consisted of a nave and a chancel, with a central tower above the chancel. The tower either collapsed or was taken down in the 13th century. When re-roofing the chancel, the builders also raised the height of the chancel walls, forming a chamber reached by a north staircase and used as a columbarium or dovecot, a very rare feature in a church. This glow of light in the sanctuary is provided naturally through two side windows. The south window is of the 13th century and the north window is in the 15th century perpendicular style.
Well, that's the end of our tour of Winston and Elkston. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll come and view them for yourself and discover these magnificent churches. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you for another video very soon, somewhere in the Cotswolds. Thanks again for watching. All the very best. Take care. And I'll see you again soon.